There we go. Hey guys! Welcome back. Spasmic Gamer here, and today I'm actually going to be cooking a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm, um, not to make this kind of sad, but I'm by myself today for Thanksgiving. Um, my family's up in Sacramento, and I couldn't get the time off work. And as for Matthew, um, he's actually working right now. Hard working, man. So, um, I'm going to be cooking some stuff today and drinking wine. Oh, this would be so much fun. Okay, so as you guys can probably see over here. Ah! She's barking at the TV. <laughs> that was priceless. My baby's barking at the TV. Oh, yeah, I have my dogs in here today. So. There's Fluffy, as you saw barking, and Crystal, and Delta. They're so adorable. <sighs> so as I was saying, um, as you guys can see over here, here on the cutting board, we have um, the pumpkin that I was pureeing and everything. I had it, um, unfortunately it hasn't set out long enough, and it's kind of not the uh, warmest in the house right now, so... Um, it hasn't had time to thaw out, but I'm going to be making a pie crust for it. Um, thanks, Kevin. No, it, it'll be just fine. I, I promise it'll be just fine. Um, I also have my dogs in here because, well, they're, they're my family and everything. They're my fur babies. And I figured why not feed them a little bit, you know, something that being, why not feed them something, you know, that they're not used to having. So I looked it up and it's safe. But I'm going to be feeding them a little bit of rice. And I got them a can of dog food. So that'll be pretty good. Um, I'm watching like my daytime like Judge Mathis, Judge Judy, all that good stuff right now while I'm cooking. And then um, as you guys saw behind me, I have a wink box. And no, this is not like sponsored or anything. I've had this wink box for like the longest time. It's a wine subscription. And I've been meaning to record it and everything. And I felt, well, it's a holiday. What better day to do that than today? So what I'm gonna go on ahead and do, I'm, I should probably have this so you can see it, but there's just so many things. Um, order of the court. Thanks, Kevin. So right here, as my dogs are watching me, <laughs> um, I'm currently pouring the rice in here because I saw that um, what's best to do is you have the rice here you pour it in the water and you see how murky and it's it's getting all the starch out it's getting all the starch out of the water so it's a good thing i'll just keep this loose so it's a good thing for you to um do that so that way all the um all the starch comes out of it that way when you actually cook it it'll be a more flavorful more fluffy type of um Sorry, I was looking at my dog. More fluffy, more flavorful type of uh, rice. And it'll be, it'll be like, you guys will see it. It'll be amazing. Um, so the next step that I'm also doing over here, while well, I'll let this sit for a few minutes, I'm cutting apples. The reason why is I'm cutting apples for two separate recipes. One, I'm making an, a small batch of ketchup with some tomatoes that I have left over, and it calls for using apple cider. And I don't have apple cider, but I figured, hey, apples. Apples are made, apple cider is made of apples, so apple cider. And I have over here, um, the sink is, it's not filled with water, but it's, it's got cold water in it. And so I'm going to take all these apples and have them soak for a little bit just to get them a little softer. These apples are a little bit older. I've got like two bags of these. They are a little bit older, so they're already soft, but just a little extra measure. So, I might as well open up the first bottle of, of wine and stuff um, to kind of get us started, I guess. Can you guys still see me? No, you can't. I'm out of the frame. Okay, let me move these bowls. And no, I don't plan on monetizing this video or anything anytime soon. I just, just kind of wanted to do this just to... Just to say hi to you guys and help have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope all of you guys, just because I'm sad, 
well, I'm not sad. Just because I sound like I'm sad or whatever doesn't mean that I actually am sad. I'm actually, like, like Matthew's working and he's doing good things and my family, they're having fun doing good things. I wish that I could have gotten the time off work to go spend time with them, but that's okay that I didn't, you know? Life happens sometimes. So they, this wine subscription, they said that they would customize it to my taste, which they asked me, like, how do I like my coffee? Do I like salt and sugar and all this other different types of stuff? Let me see. Summer water and chop shop. Cheers. We're on holiday. Uh, okay, that's my dog. Um, the Wink Journal is on holiday for the month of August, but they'll return. Which, that's how long I've had this box, so it's been a while. Alright, let's get started. I choose this one. Huh. Oh, this is Chardonnay, though. I don't know, I don't, I'm not really that much of a fan of Chardonnay. It's Chardonnay Pacificana, uh, barrel fermented, 2006. Alright, so I'll start with that one. And my, and my, my dogs are looking at me like, what, what, what is that? Can I have some? What, what, what? All right, let me get this strainer. I got most of the stuff out that I needed. Like, you know, most of it. Not everything. So I'm going to go on ahead and pour out the rice. Strain the rice. Okay. And then we're going to do it again. And we do this as many times as it takes until the rice sits clear in the water. And you always want to do this with cold water. Yeah, it's still pretty murky. Oh, you guys can't even. It's, it's the same. Just take my word for it. Let me get all this rice off my hands. <laughs> Still pretty murky, so we're going to give it another few more minutes. Let me get a wine bottle open for that. Yes, this one. If this doesn't work, I can go to my room for one. Oh, there we go. Open that. This is like a Swiss army knife. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, what are you guys having for dinner? Are you guys having turkey? Do you guys eat anything else for Thanksgiving? Do you guys have, um... Oh, jeez, am I going to be able to pull this? Do you guys eat anything else? Oh, God, I'm not going to be able to pull this. I'm scared to pull it. Oh, God, I'm scared. Okay, I got to go get my other one. I got to go get my other one. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I don't... <laughs> Give me one sec. Okay. Here we go. I like this one better because it like surrounds the side of it. And then it prongs it for me, like pushes it up. Okay. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay, there we go. And. Oh, almost. Oh. It's right. There you go. <sighs> All right. I'm going to get my wine. Oh. You okay, Fluffy? Where is... No, you guys can't have any. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm really scared because I usually don't like Chardonnay. Chardonnays 
are really oaky and dry. Well, this bottoms up. <laughs> nope. Nice try. I don't like it. Nice try. Moving on, let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the apples real quick. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna cut all these apples and then I'm gonna get out my food processor. Um, I don't even think I told you the second reason why I was cutting these apples. What I plan on doing is we are going to take these apples and um, use them to make apple juice. And I know you guys are probably like, well, like, how do you how do you make apple juice? Um, some people will use a strainer, or not a strainer, a juicer. Me though, I'm gonna somewhat. It's gonna be. I'm, I was gonna say I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, but the old fashioned way was probably just like smashing apples and crunching them together, not using any form of like electronics or even probably like a knife. Or they probably use like a sharp rock. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and put them in a food processor and make kind of like a paste, kind of like applesauce. And then from there, um, I'm going to use cheesecloth. And we're going to use the cheesecloth to um, strain out the, the liquid. And like I said, I wanted to do like a couple, like all these apples because they've been in here. And I don't know about you guys, but I like, for the most part, I like knowing what's going on in my food. So like... I know what process it takes, um, what ingredients are in it. That's how I am. This one I gave him off like That's the process that I like. So I'm gonna make my own apple juice and then it'll be just as if I'm, you know, eating all these apples and it, it'll be better. Cause I mean, who doesn't? I don't even know if my dogs like apples. Let me try. Let me tilt the camera down a little bit. Let's see. I think you'll be able to see all of them. Oh, dude, my camera's like come out. There we go. Okay. You can see all, almost all of them. You guys like apples? Come here. No. <laughs> well, you like you might like it, Delta. Fluffy. She heard me and saw me chew it. She's trying. She tried. She tried. You want to try again, Crystal? My hygienist told me to try a mouthwash, so I tried Crest. It does so much more than give me fresh breath. Crest Pro Health mouthwash provides all of okay. these benefits to help you get better dental checkups. Go oh, Crest Mouthwash. Checkup? Nailed it. Oh, thanks for loving. Oh, Delta, we like apples. Where are you, Fluffy? You want to try again? Yeah, yeah Fluffy's trying. I love that you guys like apples. You sure, Crystal? <laughs> I'll give her one more. I know you guys can't even see me. You sure, Crystal? Okay. <laughs> Delta just come in and snatch it. Okay. Alright, then. Well, we tried. And it's two out of three. Not bad. Oh. Yeah, because Fluffy's eating it. See? Oh, you can't see. Okay, well, she's eating it. Crystal still refuses, but... I don't know. Maybe they're just hungry enough where... You know, they'll practically, like, eat anything. No. Nope. 
Oh. Well, Crystal, are you eating it? Are you eating it? Oh, I thought you were. Maybe she just inhaled it. I don't know. Okay, back to cutting apples. So, I'm gonna cut these apples and I'm gonna cut these last two, this last one. And then we're gonna drain out the rice one more time. And hopefully. Hopefully, it's good enough. Where it'll now be um, ready for me to cook. And I'm going to use my little thingy here to hopefully speed up the process a little bit and get rid of some of the murkiness that maybe got left over. Let's give this another try. I'm trying to save as much of the rice as I can for buying over the Yeah, it's definitely better. See? Not as murky. You can actually see the rice now. It's probably still going to need at least one more rinse. Okay. So, on the other hand, um, what I'm actually going to get ready to do, this next apple that I cut up, because the ratio for apples and tomatoes in making ketchup is like five tomatoes to one, I'm actually only going to add like this one slice and rinse it first though. Okay, and I have a recipe pulled up here. So for the cake ketchup, it's peeled, cored, and chopped. Um, olive oil. I'm actually probably put this on low. So put that there. Okay, you guys can kind of still. Let me turn this a little bit. So it says three tablespoons, but I'm only going to pour like a little bit, not even like, probably like a tablespoon. Um, onions, we need onions as well. There's some in here. So I have one pound of onion, but I think I'm only going to add like, kind of like the amount, the same amount I did for the apple. You know, I really wish I could have this camera be like, I probably could have it be like perfectly in the middle, like that much. Okay. Oh, you guys, are you guys okay? You guys are Dora. I wash my hand. You guys okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. So put the apple and then garlic cloves. I don't have any um, cider vinegar. I have regular vinegar. I don't have cider vinegar. Wash my hands. Let me get some. Then I'll get. I'll just pour like a little bit of regular vinegar. It says one cup, so I'll probably do like a tablespoon of it all. Okay. Right. Regular vinegar. Okay. Brown sugar. I don't think we even have brown sugar. I know I have powdered, and I know I have white sugar. But I don't have brown, so we're going to have to improvise. Um, I guess I could use a little bit of this. I can use some of this. They're um, Demera, Demera sugar. It's close to brown. It's like the raw cane. So I use like 
a tablespoon of that. And a little bit, like another, sorry baby, another tablespoon of regular sugar. Okay. Uh, let me see, what else, what else? Kosher salt, which I do have some of that indeed because I do plan, oh, that's another thing we could do, we could pickle. I have um, cucumbers that I need to do something with soon. So I guess I could, we could pickle. Let me actually go through that a little bit. How much was it, just a tablespoon? Whoops. Um, a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, paprika, cayenne, and cloves. Oh, I don't even have any cloves. Um, red pepper. Oh, I can use garlic. Cayenne. Is this one not open yet? No. Rosemary, turmeric, chili. Okay, I'll use red pepper and garlic. Let me use that garlic powder. I already have one that's open. And parsley. This is gonna be really good. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let these cook a little bit. It was like a lot of complications and stuff like that as far as like Facebook posts and like everybody knows that. Let everything get a little bit tender. Um well it's like careful baby. We're gonna let everything get a little bit tender. Let me go on and set this onion aside. I may need it again later. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna strain this and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and just add the rice. In there. I'm going to let this out. But this rice is already like, it's going to be fluffy. Like, I, it's going to be fluffy. You can already, you can just tell. It's going to be fluffy. It's going to be so fluffy, I'm going to die. Sorry, I know that was terrible. Yep. See how clear that is? It's ready. Alright. Let's go on ahead. Put this on the back aisle. Okay. Let me get some water in here and I'll get the last bit of it. See, that wine's good, but it wasn't the greatest. Like, it didn't have too much of that tang that I don't like. But. Okay. So I'm going to go on ahead and have that cook for a little bit. And then. Hang on one sec. Sorry, my friend's like, Cora, are you streaming? I'm. The I'm program. live. If you are on a fixed income or concerned about rising I hate prices, autocorrect. Learn about affordable whole life insurance with a lifetime rate lock that guarantees your okay. rate can never be I tried. You guys doing okay? If you did not yeah, I think they're just getting a bit like a bit antsy. I'm going ahead and put the rest of the rice. I hope it all fits no in this little container. Oh my god, I just spilled some. 
<laughs> trying to, I'm, I'm putting it in this little container, one of these little seal containers. I'll show you right now without trying it. On these little clampy clamps. Yeah, I'll have to put some of the. Well, no. Let me, let me see. Can I fit that? I just have like this little itty bit left. Can I fit it in here? I really hope so. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in oh and can never stop. Like, and your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your okay. health. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. Call now for your okay. information kit. Okay. I made it fit, guys. I made it fit. I do have some leftover rice here, so... Let me go on ahead and clean this up, and then we'll get back to the apples. Well, actually, let me go on and stir the tomatoes we have over there. That way it's not just like one side is getting cooked and one side's getting seasoned and whatnot. There we go. She's lying on the floor. I really do wish you guys could see them. Don't worry, I'm using the utensil. I just, I can't help but pet my dogs, you know? I want to mash them a little bit. They're actually getting pretty soft, which is good. So now they're all submerged in the liquid, and we'll go on and let them saute, give or take maybe like 15 minutes, so at, we'll go on and say at 55, it's a little bit over 20 minutes, so at 55 we'll go on ahead and um, turn it off. Okay. So now... I'm going ahead and clear this up and put this away. And then once I finish chopping up the apples, then we'll go on ahead and give our second one a try. Because hopefully it tastes like a lot better than the first one did. I don't like Chardonnay. It's so bitter and it's just... Well, you guys saw the look on my face. If I could do like an instant replay, I would. I can smell the vinegar though, it smells good. Let me wash my hands. That's why I have them soaking in there. Because it cleanses it clean it cleanses them. It cleanses them. Washing my hands. Washing my hands. Oh, sorry, Crystal. Sorry, Fluffy, what are you doing over there, dude? Fluffy's a girl, but, you know, what if she wants to be a guy sometimes, you know? She's got, like, this aura around her. This aura of I'm top dog. Most small dogs actually have that aura. You guys ever know a small dog that doesn't act like a big dog? Chihuahuas have it, like, really bad. And Fluffy is a, um, a poodle shih tzu. Delta is a rat terrier. And um, Crystal is a chihuahua terrier mix, believe it or not. So my babies, they're all adopted, as you can tell. I didn't birth them myself. Um, you know, and they're... Um, let me see. Crystal, I believe, she's going to be six this year. I got her the day after Christmas back in 2011, so she's going to be six. Um, Delta, I got her, I believe it was 2012, so she's going to be five. And Fluffy, I think I got her the year after that, so she's going to be four. I want to say, I want to say. Yeah, Delta I got. No, I got her in 2013. I got Delta. No? 
No, I got her in 2012. That's right. Right? You guys want another apple slice? Is that why you're looking at me? Hang on. That one has the core in it. The last time I remember, dogs can't eat apple cores. Or they shouldn't. I don't know if it's they can't or they shouldn't. Three more apples to go, guys. Go on and cut this up. That was terrible. Let me do this one again. There we go. This one's better. Um, Delta? You don't want it this time? I want to take it, baby. Crystal, you don't want it? Crystal, come on. Your sisters are eating it. Fine. <laughs> Less cooking, good looking. I'm trying. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. My dogs like apples. I'm so happy they like apples. Here, let me point it down again. My dogs like apples. They're cooking with me here in the kitchen. See, she's eating an apple. Delta's over there. You can't see her, but she's eating an apple. Here, Fluffy. Yeah, see? Delta? And then Crystal's just like, I don't want it. Because Crystal, she won't eat it. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So if you're just now tuning in, I know spoiled dogs. I know the puppers. Well, actually, I was just now saying that Crystal's six years old, Delta's five years old, and I think Fluffy is three. I want to say she's three. But yes, they're spoiled either way. All right, so what I'm basically doing is I'm cutting up a bunch of apples and I'm putting them in the sink to get them a little bit softer. Um, I'm going to actually be using them to make apple juice and then potentially to make using the leftover from the apple juice, like, you know, when you put it. So, okay. So the apples, I'm going to take them, puree them in a uh, food processor, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the contents into a cheesecloth and we're going to strain it. The juice is going to be apple juice. You know, because what else would it be? And then the remainder of the, um, like the filling, we'll say. Um, I'm actually wondering if I can use that leftover to make apple pie. If it has enough sweetness and, and contents in it, can I use it to make apple pie? Okay. So those were our two bags of apples. Let me go on ahead and stir this over here. So also for the dogs, because again, spoiled dogs, I have some, oh god, that blew up pretty big. I might want to put this in another pot. This blew up pretty big. I have some, I have like a ton of rice cooking over here for them. Um, and it's fluff, it's nice and fluffy, so that's going to be good. Um, and then I had some apples and tomatoes over here because I wanted to make ketchup which I'm gonna let that still saute for like the next like give or take another 10 minutes okay so the next step more wine more wine more wine more wine more wine, more wine. I won't need that anymore so I'm gonna try another wine try this one hmm the bluffer 2016 Paso Rob Robles, Val, Valdi. He's like Pink Panther. Let me go on and get this disgusting Chardonnay out of my way, cause Chardonnay's gross. I should have put this. Uh, yeah, probably applesauce. That's probably what it would do. And if it's blended, then maybe. Um, nah. Well, okay. I have to let the, I actually probably should go set it outside. I have some um, pumpkin stuff, some pumpkin filling that um, earlier this week. Oh my God, come on, get in there. Let me try to, no. I had some pumpkin filling. Um, I actually took the pumpkins and I, oh, there we go. Oh, so strong. <sighs> okay, T pumpkin filling, May pumpkin filling, 
using condensed milk and evaporated milk. It's sitting over there. There. But it needs to thaw out a little bit more because I had it in the freezer. So I'm going to go on and open this bottle of wine, try this bottle of wine, and then I'm going to go set it outside. Um, that way it can thaw out faster, which I want to hurry because as some of you guys may know, daylight savings times happens. And what happens with that? It gets like super dark, super early, like way too early. Am I even like, is this thing even going anywhere? No. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I could put the bag in hot water. I have the apple sitting in it right now. Um, so it's going to be a minute before I can do that. There we go. Now it's inserted. I had a dumb moment. It's okay though. No, it's still not going anywhere. Yeah, it's starting to get dark by like 4 p.m. also here. It's, oh my God, why is this not... I'm dumb. I was turning it the complete opposite way. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. This is why I shouldn't cook and drink wine at the same time. I'm not even drunk or anything. I'm not even like tipsy at all or anything. And I just could not turn it the right way. Rip. <laughs> okay. Now I'll just pour a little bit this time. Like, let me rinse it actually. Because it might have the rubness of the disgusting Chardonnay. Some of you guys might like it. I personally don't like it because of that oaky. Again, you, you guys saw my face. Beth, you didn't get to see my face, but they saw my face. Okay, let me just go out and pour just... Oh, this one's red. Oh, no. I don't like red wine either. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. I don't like it. They sent me all the wrong ones. They lied to me. <laughs> like, I mean, it's okay. It's okay-ish. Oh, God, this cork broke. I can't put this back in here. Oh, my God. How am I supposed to seal it? That oh, no. Yeah, but dessert wines are so much. They're so expensive. I guess I could cook with this one. Let me go on and put it in the... On and turn this down because of course all the water left the rice. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. No, I can't. None of the sections are tall enough. Oh no, my life is falling apart. Ah, okay. But you guys could, you guys will definitely be able to see. I'm gonna turn this rice off. And you guys will definitely be able to see what I meant by fluffy because this rice is like so fluffy. It's like Japanese rice. Let me see. Back. I just stuffed on one of your guys' apples. Totally fluffy rice. I don't know. I'm just, I'm glad it's not. Let's not jinx that. I don't have it on high, and I don't have the oven on. If I had the oven on, I think it'd be different. But I don't have the oven on. I just have these these two irons on. So that's probably how how it's not melting. Okay, so next step is I'm going to get the food processor out. And we're going to go on ahead and start... You're fine, Delta. It's okay. She like freaked out and jumped out. I'm right here. Don't worry. Food processor. They're probably not going to like the sound now that I think about it. Okay. So I'm going ahead and let me go on and rinse off this knife and everything so I can clean up my area. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your this. life. And I, I'll take all the apples out of the sink, and then I'll run some hot water in there, and we can go on and get that stuff 
to soften up. That way we can actually use it. And by the time that I make the pie crust, then um, hopefully it'll be thawed out enough. Okay. Sorry, I have like certain things over here and certain things over there. Okay, well, let me go ahead and put this back. And I'm going to let the rice cool a little bit inside, and I still want it to absorb some of the water, um, some of the moisture that might be left over in it. And then once it's done, maybe like 10 minutes. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> and then once it's... I love you. And then once I, it's done... I love you too, Delta. I love you too, Fuzzy. Then, um... I forgot my train of thought. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this over. Careful, guys. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. And I'm pretty, and those are almost done sautéing too. The um, the tomatoes and everything. They're almost done sautéing. Let's go on and get this. Barely fits. Barely fits. Can I make this go cord any longer? No, I cannot. Let me actually put it over there. There's space over there I can put it next to you guys. So we'll go here. It'll be a little bit awkward just because of the fact that, like... There we go. It'll just be a little bit awkward, I guess, because it's here and the, like, the... The apples are here, but I can load them up and then so just let me go on and give it a good rinse. This has actually been a little bit since I've used this. So I'll give it a good rinse. Go on and load some of these apples up. And then I'm going to want to get another bowl. Thank you. Um, so maybe about this much. We'll give it a try. That's probably actually too many. Let me take these two out. Let me rinse a little, little bit too. Now let me go get a bowl and the cheesecloth because without those two items, we cannot move on. Do I have to undo that? Then do that. Then do that. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I forgot the cheesecloth. Okay, so I got some cheesecloth for uh, crafting and household use. We're going to use it for household. I believe it is three inches by uh, by three yards, or 36 inches, my bad, 36 inches by three yards. Okay. Yeah, so this is pretty good, so we'll probably, probably start off use this much. I don't know. Let me see. Because it's folded in half. So I guess we'll just whoop, just start off to see. I'm going to go on ahead and turn this off too while I'm at it. Because it has indeed been 10 minutes. I probably honestly should have got a little bit of bigger of cheesecloth, but live and learn. Or actually, I can just, what am I doing? I can just unfold it and then cut another one and then double layer it. Cora, this is why you go to college. Actually, no, it's not even like going to college. It's just common sense. And you can't gain common sense from college. That may be the wine book. <laughs> All right. So I'll go on ahead. 
kids are crazy. There we go. They, uh, they're not the only crazy to put it that way. Right. Well, that's all I want to do that. I have a double layer strainer. And the only other thing we need is, and I know this bowl isn't big enough. I know it's not big enough. But that's all I got right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use that bowl. And what else? I feel like I still need another bowl because I'm going to need somewhere to put the leftover. I guess I'll get a plate. I could put it on a plate maybe. Or, or another bowl, a different bowl. Okay, we want to put the leftover residue in this bowl and we'll put what we squeeze out the contents in this bowl. Alright, so without further ado, I can't remember how loud this is. My apologies. And sometimes you might have to get a spatula of some sort or a scoopy, a little scooper. Do I have no scoopers or no spatulas? How is this even possible? Okay. This is and you might have to get one sometimes, you know, and you might have to scrape it down off the walls. Let me actually go on and turn you guys a little bit so you can see. But sometimes it gets stuck on the walls. Okay, let's go again. I'm actually going to feed a little bit of water, let's use this, feed a little bit of water in here, just a little bit, just to get it going. And I know I'm going to squeeze out all the contents, but it's also to like help maybe some of it stick, actually stick down there. I might need to pulse it a couple times. It's nice and mashed. It's like, it's honestly like, like applesauce. I was like, like, duh, what else is it gonna be? Like, sweet potato pie? Sorry, like while we were doing this, like Fluffy was like rolling around on her back. It's... Okay, I was looking for her for a minute. Let me go on and change the channel real quick so that way I have something else I can listen to in the background. But what we're going to do next is we're going to go on ahead and take the puree and we're going to strain it with the cheesecloth. Oh my god, where's Family Feud, dude? Family Feud. Okay. There we go. So we're going to go on ahead and take this cheesecloth, 
I want to set this in here. I need that to scoop. What am I doing? Sorry, this is my first time making this and stuff, so. And it's kind of weird because I'm like, usually I'm able to like edit, edit and like cut out parts where I messed up and stuff, but because I can't do that here, it's just a little unnerving. So, oop! See all that goodness? It's peeing. <laughs> so I'm just going to go on ahead. Oh, geez, it's running on my arm. Go on ahead and squeeze all that out. And I know a lot of it's going to be water, the water that I added, but it help. It, you know, it just helps it to, what's it called? Just, like, stop it from raising to the, raising to the walls, you know? And I added a couple apples, as you guys saw, to kind of make up for um, putting water in there. So I think this is what we're going to get from it now. Let me try. Actually, because I dropped some. Okay. Let's see if I can get any more out. See, and it's there. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it's the way I'm squeezing it. Maybe if I twist it, it'll, yeah, it'll go to the bottom. Because if I squeeze it, if I just normal squeeze it, it's like it goes a little bit everywhere. There we go. Alright, so I'm going ahead and put this leftover residue here in this other bowl. And it came out like a lump. Alright. We're just gonna have to do this. Oh. Do let yeah, I could do less of the cheesecloth. I was just worried because so, and sometimes they like tell you to double up on it and everything. Plus, like if I get some like some juice out of it and the rest of it I can use to make like apple pie or something, you know. Then um you know, it's a win-win. I get two desserts, technically desserts, out of one. Alright, I'm going to leave the rest of this residue in here to kind of guide the next batch. But see, it's already dripping. And see, I also wanted to get the cheesecloth because I had seen... I wanted to look how to make my own yogurt. I don't remember why. And no, what was it? No, that's what it was. It was how to make your own yogurt. I got it keeps running on my arm. And so how to make how to make my own yogurt. But then I was like, well, the recipe called for milk. So I was like, okay, how do I make my own milk? So now I'm looking up all these recipes and the cheesecloth will help me in more ways than one in the sense of after this off camera that is because it'll be a long process I'll be able to try to make my own uh, my own yogurt I'm gonna get a little bit more out of this okay there we go and I got a pretty good batch from just that. We have like a dozen more apples to go. Go ahead and put that there. So, yeah. It's not... I, mean, I think that's a pretty good amount of juice. This would be like... Like a glass... Like almost a little bit more... Yum, yum. I don't even think you guys saw me. Oh my god, why do you keep disconnecting? Wi-Fi, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try to taste it one more time. And I kept them in the garage. And I needed to do, I wanted to do something that I could use like for bulk. So we'll go on ahead and try that much. Where's the lid? Over there. And then once I get through with all these, um, I know, it's so fabulous. 
So then we'll go on ahead and we're going to puree these batch, this batch. And once I get done with all these apples, um, sorting them out and everything, that's when I'm going to put the, um, the mix for the pumpkin in here. And then I'm going to get to um, feeding my dogs the rice with the... Um, Oh, Fluffy came over. <laughs> she heard food, I guess, or feeding. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and feed them the rice with the um, the batch of dog food that I got. Because I got, like, what is it called? Like, the canned food and stuff. I wouldn't have enough time to thaw out chicken. Otherwise, I'd feed them a little bit of chicken, too. All right. Let's get to pureeing. Oh my god, my ears. Okay. So this one I kind of like... Fluffy? Baby, stop. Okay. So now with this batch, I kind of... I, I made like almost double. As you guys can see, I made, I was able to get like double the last one into this one. Oh, and this one's way more liquidy. Okay. Let's go on ahead and get this here. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the pie crust, just because that one's recipe is a little, I don't know how to put it. Like there's so many different variations, so many different ways to make it. So it's just, I don't know. But I'm hoping that it can turn out okay. A lot of the times also, Whenever you make a crust or any type of bread related item, they want you to make it and then like put it in the fridge for like so many hours or like cover it and wait for it. And I guess technically I could have done that first. Maybe I could have done that first. I'll know that for next time. For like. Um, I mean, I found one that doesn't require me to leave it in the fridge or anything. Maybe for next time, if at all possible, if you have a simpler one. Oh, excuse me. That apple juice makes me burp. It's pretty good, though. Oh, man. Dude, I just had the unhealthiest thought ever. See, these, when you bring them out of the cheesecloth, they look like this, you know, dried and stuff like that. What if... After I take them out like that, I make them like little balls and then deep fry them. Unhealthiest healthy dessert idea ever. Unhealthiest dessert idea ever. Unhealthy for a healthy dessert. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't like it deep fried? I might. I don't know. I could be lying and just be like, oh, that's disgusting. 
Like, you know, once, if I actually did it, I might actually later on be like, Ew, that's so gross, it's disgusting, what was I thinking? So I give or take, we're gonna be doing the food processor thing at least two more times? Maybe three? No more than that, though. Get all the goodness out. And maybe it is taking a little bit longer just because I doubled up on the layers of the cheesecloth, but that's okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna call that good for that one. I'm getting a workout though, guys. Kind of like hold it and stuff. <laughs> My dogs are going to bed. Yeah. See? I know, right? Pecan pie sounds really good though. I, I can't remember the last time I've ever had pecan pie. Mail it to me. <laughs> Mail me one. I'll get it in a few weeks and still try it. Can't say I won't. Can't say I'll live, but... <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. See yourself? Do you see yourself, baby? <laughs> yes, it does. And it's really gross. <laughs> yeah, she is. Every time that the camera's not looking at her, what she'll do is she'll wind up like rubbing her back and stuff. Like rubbing her back all crazy on the um on the on the rugs and stuff and then it's like I'll stop talking and I think she'll know that I'm like looking at her and then she'll look at me like Delta's just like, I don't care. Okay. It's getting a little bit more rated, so I'm going to go on and bring the camera back over here. <laughs> here, actually, I need to put something on the floor, because whenever I squeeze this out... Whenever I squeeze this out, it's going down my arm and, like, on the floor. And my mom's going to kill me for that. Oh, now they're playing. So I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, she is like a mop, and that's crazy that it's saying that you're sending too many messages. I appreciate you talking to me, though. Thank you, because this would probably just be, like, really awkward, me trying to come up with things to say. Like, Fleeble Flopple Hubenheimer Schminger Dine. Awkward. <laughs> Nah, it's okay, though. What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just having a blast. Alright. I'm gonna hurry up and try to finish this batch right here in the food processor. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to um, the rice so I can get them fed. Because I'm pretty sure that's what they want right now. What they what they always want is food. They're just like me. They're like their mother. 
What do you want? Food! When do you want it? Like a long time ago. Even though, like you just asked me, I always want it. I always, you know. Now! <laughs> no, I wanted it like hours ago. But we just ate hours ago. You can't tame the beast. Right, guys? <laughs> They're just looking at me like, what? Oh, man. Okay, so I can probably get, like, one more scoop out of this. And then, like I said, I'll get the dogs nice and... Ah! Can't tame this hunger. And I'm probably gonna actually put this in a jar. I know, I'm squeezing. You know, I could probably say something really inappropriate about the way this looks. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna let you guys think about it. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh my god, it's dripping on my arm. Yeah, it is. It's a ball sack. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad my mom's not here. I'm really glad. So professional I am. Ah, uh, almost. Get the other side. Okay, that's good. I like how they're playing, and then Crystal's just here, like meh. She's just laying on the floor, like meh. You guys do whatever. Which I don't know. I guess because they're both small dogs, like Fluffy and Delta are both small dogs, and then Crystal's slightly bigger. Which they look at me, they're like, what? Huh? Huh? It's just freaking adorable. Might actually pour this last one. Oh no, I'll keep the liquid in there. Have the liquid help uh, again, like, be like, this is what you're destined to be in this life. Be like me. Be like this. Peer, no peer pressure, but be like this. So, Beth, what exactly are you doing? You said tomorrow for your guys' Thanksgiving. Is it at work? Is it at, like, your whole apartment building for school? What is it? And anybody else that's having Thanksgiving, again, I appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in and everything for being here. Um, I know everybody's, like different time zones having their own like Thanksgiving dinner and oh only the Americans though <sighs> sweet potato pie it's between sweet potato pie and cheesecake as my favorite dessert oh that's true that's true well yeah. My bad, my bad. I'm not educated in the cultural arts of culture. I mean, you would think I would be because I'm taking an intercultural communication class, but we don't really learn about different cultures. We mainly just learn, like, how to try not to be racist. You know, like, learning, like, oh, there are different demographics, there are different reasons that everybody does things. Each culture and every culture is different and they may do it for these reasons. You know. Let me see if I can actually get something. I'm gonna put the cheese, the rest of the cheesecloth back in here. In this bowl. I'm gonna see if I can actually put the remainder of these apples in another bowl. More bowls, 420 bowls. So that way I can finally put the um, put the apples in here, get it started with the um, hot water and the pumpkin. Oh my god, my favorite holiday. Oh, what's your favorite holiday? My birthday? Duh. <laughs> now nah, though. Um, my favorite holiday holiday, maybe Christmas. 
either it's between Christmas and um, Fourth of July. Fourth of July because like fireworks and everything. Don't make. I'm gonna sing Katy Perry, but I'm not. I, I would sing Katy Perry, but I'm not going to. Not right now. But Fourth of July because the fireworks. Christmas because when everybody gets together. That's why I like it. Baby, you're a firework. Come on, show them what you were. Make them go um um um. And you eat all the apples. Oh oh. My dog is just like, what are you doing? Okay. So. Well, let me see if I can tap it again. Cause it only. There we go. My favorite season. What is my favorite season? That's actually a pretty good one. <sighs> Probably spring. No, 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 no. Autumn. Autumn and winter. It's nowhere near summer. I hate summer. I mean, it's summer in California with like triple digits. Just no, no. One day I hope to move out of California and probably move somewhere else where they don't have that. Okay, my favorite, favorite season is fall, autumn, because it's not too cold like winter. So the one would be fall. My bad, I'm answering and cheating with two answers. Cheating! Okay. So, what is all this? Oh, these are from the freaking, the onion. Okay. So while I'm waiting for that hot water to fill up, what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and get the rice. And I'll show you guys again what I meant. Look how fluffy this is. This is like sushi worthy. So I'm going ahead. And some of it is still kind of hot. So I'm going ahead. Oh, some of it might actually suck a little bit because of the moisture getting absorbed. Like, not stuck as in, like, burnt, but stuck, like, clumped because of all the moisture. And it's like, I need more moisture. You know what? I'm just going to. Oh, jeez. But, yeah, this looks so good. And I bet a bunch of you are like, are you really giving all this to your dogs? Um, yeah, because I love them. I know, I'm not saying if you don't do this, you don't love your dogs, either. I should clarify. I'm more or less just saying that I love them, and even though they don't realize that it's Thanksgiving, nor do they ever realize any other day is any different from any other day, I just want to give them something special. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've given them rice in, like, two years, maybe? So it's definitely been a while. So I know they're going to enjoy it. And for the most part, it's already cooled, and I know it's going to cool a lot more once I pour the can of food over it. And I realize I probably should have gotten a second can of food, because for all this rice, it's going to be like all this rice, but like only some, like all this carb, but not enough protein. Oh my god, it's sticking. Ah, this is hot. This water's hot. It's good that it's hot, though. It's already thawing out the, um, it's already thawing out the, what do you call it? The pumpkin stuff. All right, let me go get the can. I put it over here. Okay. I'm going to move my keys. Put that there. Pour the remainder of this in here. 
And then once I feed them, we'll get our third bottle of wine, which I hope that I actually like. Alright. Oh, whoops. Fail. Oh, is this too big? Is this too big to go in the can opener? No, it's not. I'm just, I'm not coordinated at, in the very least. And they're all waiting. Like Fluffy, she was roaming around a little bit before, and now she's actually like sitting. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, I thought it was more liquidy, but it's actually chunky. Ooh, it's chunky. We treat um, a wide variety of pain problems. We treat people who have uncomplicated okay. small spider veins on their legs. We have a lot of people who have serious medical venous problems oh. that lead to severe symptoms in their legs. Pain, okay. aching, heaviness, colony. We treat everything from the end stage disease to the earliest stage of the disease. They are going to eat this, and I'm probably going to have to take them outside in like five minutes after they eat this. Because again, they haven't had rice in a while, so I'm pretty sure it's going to mess with their stomachs. You guys want to see how good this looks? Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm like, because this is like a lot, so it's hard for me to stir. So it like, but it's almost done. I'm almost done stirring. All right, that should be good enough. Let me go on and toss this in here. I was 20 weeks pregnant, and we still hadn't found the right one. Look at this. Freaking beautiful. It's still a little hot, so I'll have to probably... Well, maybe you guys will still be able to eat it. It's not like burning hot. It just might be like warm. So, let's go on ahead. Whoop. Let's go on ahead and feed them. I'm going to go on and put it back here, okay? Come on. I'm going to set this over here and I'll wash that when I'm done. All right. So, with that being done, Let's go on and try our third bottle of wine, and then we'll continue with finishing this up. Porter Plot. Sierra, Santa Barbara County. 15%. I, is that normal for a wine to be 15% alcohol? I thought they were usually like four. Or like less than that. Something. Okay. okay, I'm gonna actually turn this the right way this time. Let me see. Did I miss anything? Oh. How did Delta, and I'm sorry I missed the chat. How did Delta become my dog? Story time. Okay, well, I wanted another dog. Who doesn't want, like, a billion dogs? Okay. And so I asked my mom if I could have another dog. And, well, actually, I don't even think I asked her. Well, no, I had asked her. And she said I'd have to find a small dog. And then, and then I could have one. Well, behind her back, I was in the process I was in the process of finding a smaller dog. Oh my god, the cork came out of this one too, all messed up. So, um, then one day, uh, me and my friend Beth, which you are Beth, but for those who don't know, me and my friend Beth had actually gone to, um, 
gone to the next town over and we were actually looking for small dogs and we found Delta at a shelter. She was only like, maybe like, I want to say a few months old, like three months old or something. She had already been spayed. She had already gotten chipped, you know, and everything. Delta, you done? You done, baby? Come here. Come here. No, come here. She had already been spayed. She had already been chipped and everything. So, um... I called my mom from the shelter. I'm like, hey, mom, did you say I could have a small dog if, you know, I found a small dog? She's like, yeah. I'm like, I found a small dog. <laughs> All happy. So we got Delta here. Got Delta here in, two th like, I think it was like 2012, 2013. Right, Delta? Right, baby? Yeah. <laughs> I know, she's so adorable. Her name before, fun fact, her name before was Autumn. But now she's known as Delta. Oh. Okay. Let's try this. I don't like red wines because they're bitter. Let's try this. I hate, I hate. They haven't sent me any good wines. I hate. And I don't even, I can't even put the cork back in it. <sighs> what did I do with the first one? Oh, I put it over here. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this one over here, too. I probably will. Well, see, they're, they're supposed to send me wine subscriptions, and they test you, or they ask you questions based on, like, like, oh, do you like bitter coffee? Do you like this? Do you like that? Which I put... No, I like tons of sugar in my coffee. And no, I eat like a ton of, like, I eat so much salt, I probably have gout. You know, all that different type of stuff. But no, they can't send me the right wines. Okay, let me find the lid. I will go on and continue with the blending of the apples. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more water. All right, let's do this. And you can continue to ask me questions and stuff. Once the blending's over, then um, I will answer them. Oh, that's right, I switched out the freaking cords. That's right, boop. Turn this off so it doesn't just start up suddenly and like scare me. There we go, all right, let's go. So the first, the first one I'll answer is what's your favorite color? Since that one's a little bit easier and for a shorter answer. Um, 
Where'd you go, Delta? Oh, God. I should probably take them outside, actually. You didn't do anything in here, did you? Let me go out and take you guys outside real quick, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Come on. I forgot people call on the house phone. Yes, I still have a house phone. Yes, people still call on the house phone. Okay. So, um, oh right, my favorite color. I like softer colors, so my favorite color is blue. And when I was little, I think my favorite color was green, and I don't know why my favorite color was green at the time. If somebody is like, you know, a psych major anything of the sort and they want to pick my brain and say why my favorite color was green at the time go on ahead but I like um my favorite color right now is um my favorite color is um uh, is blue I like the color blue so yeah it's a nice softer color and it comforts me and it makes me feel like great and amazing especially when I wear it I love the way that the color blue looks on me that's not why it's my favorite, but it just helps. I really wish that I could actually, like, paint my room blue. Like, my room right now, as some of you guys may have seen, is purple. But I really do wish that I could paint my room blue. That'd be a pretty cool color. Um, as, oh no, is it ripping? I hope it's not ripping. Okay. Yeah, I think some of it's ripping. Um, as for the place that I would like to go, like if I could travel anywhere, that one's a really tough one for me. If I could travel anywhere, and I know a lot of people would probably think I'd say like Tokyo, Japan, considering I like anime, which I'm not, oh yeah, it ripped. I totally ripped it in half. Um... A lot of people would probably think I'd say, like, Tokyo, Japan, because I like anime, which, like, I do like anime, but I went just off the top of my head to say, like, Tokyo. I don't know. I don't know. If I had to pick because of how beautiful it looks, probably Greece. Greece. If I had to pick because of the food... Japan. Hands down. Japan. Um, probably Japan, though. Not just for the animes and the weeaboos and all that stuff, but... Oh, an apple fell in here. A little bit of skin. But yeah, because of the food. I love the ramen. What about you guys? Where would you guys want to go if you guys were able to travel? Travel any, anywhere in the world, all expenses paid. Where would you guys want to go? Um, a turking, a, a turking, a twerking turkey, I think, is like the weirdest thing I've seen on the internet. Like, why? I mean, I know it's festive for, like, Christmas and mainly Thanksgiving. But, like, why? Like, why? Why does anything have to twerk? Why is twerking a thing? I don't twerk. I don't know how to twerk. And I don't want to know how to twerk. So why is it a thing? Not... I don't know. What is your favorite food? Oh my god, I don't know what my favorite food is. Oh my god, that's such a hard question, dude. I've had so many. If I had to pick, like, narrow it down to absolutely one, probably pizza. 
pizza you can do anything with. I want a salad. Boom. Put broccoli on it. I want enchiladas. Boom. Put like queso con or queso con carne on it. You know. Just like you can do anything with pizza. Almost anything. And yes, I am a pineapple goes on pizza type of gal. I believe it does. Whoop. A little bit coming out. Uh, okay. So yeah, like I said, we're, we're going to blend this up at least one more time. We have one more batch. Sweet corn on pizza. No, I have not. Have you had it? If so, how was it? Was the corn, did it have like mayonnaise with it or butter? I want to know these things. I'd be down to try sweet corn on pizza. I really would. I've eaten, I've had, um, Artichoke hearts. I'm an anchovy lover. What? It's common to have corn on pizza? I'm so gonna try that next time I make pizza. Not at, not at my work, but next time I personally make pizza at my house, I'm totally gonna try it. I think the dogs are upset. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're barking at me. They're barking at me like, like, bring me back inside. I'm going to give them the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. Oh, um, Pepsi Cheetos. Once um, somebody had introduced me to the snack crate back in like 2014 or 2013. And they had gotten in their, or not a snack crate, I think it was a Japan crate. And in their crate, they had gotten um, Pepsi flavored Cheetos. And it was actually pretty good. I liked it. Not that many people did, but I liked it. And again, though, I like a lot of things that people usually don't like. So, in that regard, I'm like a unicorn. I'm weird and not usual. But I don't mind. So, that's pretty cool though. What's the weirdest thing that you guys have ever eaten? Have you guys even eaten any weird things? Are you guys the type of people to stay within your little, little bubble of, uh, what's it called? Inside your little comfort zone bubble? Even sushi. Like, sushi is kind of weird. Like, it has, like, an exquisite taste. The National Animal of Scotland. I didn't know this was turning into a geography lesson. What is the National Aminal of Scotland? A unicorn? Oh my god, you guys, I'm Scottish! I'm a unicorn! No, I'm <laughs> all, all rude. I'm thinking I might actually add some of this that I already squeezed back in here just to see if I can squeeze a little bit more out. Or I might just leave it just because, like, it's actually a pretty good amount. I could, honestly, if I get the crust, if I make the crust, I could make it, I could make at least two pies with this. Well, maybe two pies. It'd be more like a pie and a half. Okay. Last batch of apples. They're seriously waiting for me to let them back inside. Which I will. I will let them back inside. I'm just going to finish this, um, this last batch of apples. And then I'll let them back inside. But they probably like betrayed because I told them I would let them back in. And they're probably like, where is she? Why are we inside yet? Um, childhood memory, I will answer after I puree this because I need a minute to think about it. My favorite 
What is my favorite childhood memory? I will let you guys know. Or my favorite f school field trip. I, don't, I only went on like one. I think I only went on one. Which I'll tell you guys about that after this. So for my favorite childhood memory, it's honestly really hard for me to answer. My favorite field trip, I only went on one. So I can't, well actually no, I didn't go on just one, but I think I went on two. Two field trips, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, I don't really think I have that all much of a favorite memory. I mean, me and you know, you Beth and Mark, we all used to hang out together. We were like the three musketeers and we all stayed in contact mostly throughout like high school and middle school even though we went to different different schools. Um It's hard to say though. As for um my favorite video game growing up, I usually only played one type of video game. I played some fighting Um I played I didn't really play Grand Theft Auto until I hit my teens, but my favorite um, childhood video game was Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1. That was my favorite. Um, some of you guys probably play, like, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 or, um, Dragon Ball Z Universe or Xenoverse. You know, whatever it is. But back with Budokai 1, what started it all. And it didn't even have like the full story um all it went up to was the cell games went as far as the cell games so it didn't have the whole series and i still have that game and i'll still play it every now and again because i still like the way that they looked that the characters look now like in it Um, some animes that I'm into right now. One of them right now is uh, Boku no Hero, also known as My Hero Academy. Um, and then I'm also watching um, somewhat Eureka 7, rewatching it anyway. Um,. I'm not really watching that much anime right now, to be honest. I mean, I like anime, but I, I haven't. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on new anime series, not series, but the seasons to come. Um, cause Boku no Hero, My Hero Academy, only has two seasons, and season three will be starting next year. And then um, we also have um, Attack on Titan, which is the same story. Um, has two seasons and we're waiting on waiting on the third season to happen. Um, that's kind of all that's going on right now. There aren't really any animes other than that that I'm too into. I'm reading a few mangas, but they're a little adult, so I won't like mention them. And I don't necessarily mean like sexual adult. I just mean that there are some adult issues that might be sensitive to certain audiences. So I'd rather not mention. I don't want to trigger anybody on the internet because, you know, nobody ever gets triggered on the internet.
by the nationally acclaimed Sacramento <gasps> Ballet and the Ballet's top line. All right. I think I have one last scoop. And then after that, then I can get started on the next things I have. Which, if you guys know any good animes or anything um, awesome you'd like to recommend me, I watch or read, go on ahead and leave it in the comments and I will totally browse them and check them out. Whenever I have time, I will, you know, give them a watch, let them know if they're, like, totally awesome. Because I'm usually looking for more stuff to read and check out. I watch, like, YouTubers and stuff, but, like, sometimes, sometimes they're being, like, me being a YouTuber, watching other YouTubers, sometimes there just isn't anything I want to watch them play or do because, you know, I might want to do something similar. And for it to be, like, a first impression, I'd rather not, like, watch them do it and then me do it. You know, because that's kind of cheating. So, at least in my book, it's cheating. I don't know if people watch other YouTubers and then they have this, like, they do it. But, um... And the other anime that I'm thinking about that I haven't caught up in yet... But I will be, well, it's not really, it's kind of, it's not really an anime. I don't know if Ruby counts. I don't know if Ruby counts, but if Ruby counts, then I'm trying to catch up. And even if it doesn't, I'm just, in general, I'm trying to catch up on the Ruby series. So. Yep. Um, famous YouTubers that I'm really into. Um, I like Markiplier. I like Jack Septicai. Believe it or not, I was never really a PewDiePie person. PewDiePie is just not my my type of YouTuber. Um, but Markiplier's cool. Oh jeez, I don't know if I can reuse this. I think it'd be better if I just tossed it. Yeah, probably. I, I'll see. Maybe if I like rinse it and then dry it hang it to dry then maybe I can reuse it um the uh, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye they keep they keep it real and they haven't had any scandals as far as I'm aware of so you know they're cool in my book and they're for the for like the rightful treatment of everybody I'm not saying that there are YouTubers that are not, but just some things, oh, excuse me, that certain YouTubers have done just doesn't really rub me the right way. I'm going to go on and get off that topic, though. I like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, and I also did like Sky Does Minecraft, and I still kind of like him, but he's changed from the Sky that I used to know, which it's like a Hannah Montana thing, you know? Everybody's like, ah, oh, Hannah Montana's changed. Hannah Montana used to be, like, this, like, perfect girl, and now she's, like, rowdy and all that. This was back when she first changed in, like, 2013 or so after Hannah Montana. You know? And people are like, no, she's always been like that. She's always been like that. You know, it's just because of how um, Disney Channel had her with a certain appearance um, she wasn't able to like be herself oh geez I try not to laugh challenge I'd probably have like ghost peppers or something oh my god they're like stalking me like <laughs> they're looking at me like Cora let us in I'll let them in in a minute um, a try not to laugh challenge I would so be down to do it's just I laugh incredibly easy so I know I'd already lose um don't tell my mother I did this but I need to get up in this in this cupboard okay oh, okay so short girl problems hashtag um, I'm gonna go on ahead and put the juice in this jar. Let me go on and get a funnel. Short girl problems. 
Yeah, it's clean. All right. So, like I said, um, what was the question again? Right. Uh, try not to laugh challenge. Right. If I did, I laugh incredibly easy, so I feel like it wouldn't be fair. I know the premise is to try not to laugh, but I don't really feel like I couldn't. But if I did do one, the punishment would probably involve like ghost peppers maybe or something spicy. Just to make it interesting. Okay, so don't mind the label on the jar. But I poured in this much apple juice. I still have a little bit over a container left. A little bit under, sorry, a little bit under a container left. I think I can fit it in maybe in this mason jar. Oh, I just spilled some. No. Oh, I just spilled some. That's rip, rip. I had one job. Okay. So I have a little bit left, which I'm gonna go on ahead and put in my little wine glass, and I'm gonna finish finish it off, and then I'll put the two um, jars in the fridge and let them get chilled because they taste better when they're chilled. I think most things do taste better when they're chilled. One lid. Hey, Beth, what time is it for you? It's like four o'clock here, so, or it's five o'clock here, so it's like what, one in the morning for you? Yeah. So this is pretty much like right here is a two and two and a fourth mark. So this is like three cups plus like another. So this is like five cups at least plus the little bit that I spilled. They left rice on the floor, dang it. <laughs> plus the little bit that I spilled. Plus the little bit that's left over, give or take about six, six cups of apple juice. And there's still some left over in here. I just, I don't really want to take the time to scrape it. And so I'm probably just going to scoop it in with the rest of it that's left over. And then um, from there, um, have a finger as a no wouldn't that kick off your gag reflex heck of gross <laughs> yeah. All right. well cheers all right I'm going to change the, st the channel on the TV so I can go on and listen to something else. I think Judge Judy's on right now. Judge Judy. Hmm. I guess it's not on right now. That was weird. I thought I heard something. Okay. Well, there's nothing else that I really want to watch right now. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to go on YouTube myself. And no, I don't mean that I'm going to like watch my stream while I'm streaming because that would be, well, not weird if I needed to know like what was happening at what moment that it was happening. I made a mess. Um, there, there's no way I'm getting out of having some form of STD or anything, is there? Man. Probably wear somebody else's dirty underwear. 
That's probably honestly what I would choose. At least like, well actually no, 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 no. I would, sorry, sorry, I can't help it. Okay, between the choice, the question I was asked was would I rather wear somebody else's uh, dirty underwear or use somebody else's uh, dirty toothbrush? And I, first choice I said maybe I would like wear somebody else's dirty underwear, but then I'm like, no, maybe I'll um, use their toothbrush. Because if you use their toothbrush, hopefully it's just a one time where if you wear their underwear, it might be all day. I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know what I do with that spatula. Probably put it in the sink. So I'm gonna have to go get another thing to scoop this. So the next step that we're gonna go on ahead and do, I'm gonna have to scoop this anyway. The next step that we're gonna go on, go on, go on ahead and do is I'm gonna get started on the um, pie crust. While I, I'm also gonna change the water for um, for the, what is in there? But uh, pumpkin puree, there we go. And I'm gonna go bring my dogs back in too because they've been they've been barking at the door for me to bring them back in. I told them I would bring them in and everything and they've been barking like, come on, let us in. I also have to wash this real quick because as you guys saw earlier, I was attempting to make ketchup. And so um, I have to puree it in the food processor. I could just use my blender, but I've already dirtied like so many dishes and I'm so lazy. So give me one sec, let me go get my dogs. My dogs are back and they're happy to be here. I swear they were afraid that I wasn't gonna let, like, let them back in the house. Okay, so the water's lukewarm and it, it's like halfway, it's like halfway thawed out. See, it's pretty, pretty okay, but there's still like a giant chunk in the middle. So I'm gonna go on ahead and use this water to my advantage to rinse out. Um, this real quick. And I've already got most of my ingredients. I actually should have set the butter out a long time ago to let it, like, soften. I will do that now, as soon as I wash this lid. Because I still have to... Okay, but I did get the flour already and most of the other ingredients. That's good. And this just needs a quick walk rinse. And then this is good. Okay. And then this just needs a quick rinse. So we've already made the apple juice. And the pumpkin puree is almost finished. I'm going to put the wine here. Okay, so if you're just now tuning in, they're right here. They all abandoned, all abandoned me. So now, our next step is to make, um, we're gonna be making pie crust. We're gonna be making pie crust for the leftover, this is a lot, the leftover of the apples, so it'll make an apple pie, or I might even just make this into a cobbler. Cobbler, huh? Maybe a cobbler? Now let's do apple pie. I'm already, ah! I'm already making crust. So um, we'll do apple pie and then pumpkin pie. So that's gonna be great. And it's not like hard or anything. Like, here, let me tilt this so you can see it. There we go. So it's not like that hard or that drained. So it's still, it's still fine. Um. Um, nom, nom, nom. I know that's weird. <laughs> okay. 
Um, and last but not least, I was making a small, like, bit of ketchup. I don't know why I put the food processor away. But I was making a small bit of ketchup, so I need to get the processor back out. One more time. And then we'll go on ahead and process to make the ketchup. Crystal, where are you going? She likes my room a lot better. So, and it might be also the noise and stuff. Crystal, where are you going, baby? Hi. I don't know why she didn't want to be in here with me. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm walking everywhere and she might feel like she has to move or something. Like, maybe that's why, because she has to move a lot whenever I move, but that's okay. All right. Oh, she just, <laughs> she laid down. She got tired of me asking her to come back. She laid down. All right. So again, I want to thank you guys for participating with me and asking me questions during the stream. Go on ahead and ask me any other questions that you may have. Um... I will do the best of my abilities to answer them, you know, the best of my knowledge. Okay. So, num, num, and don't worry, I used apples to make this. So what it is, and I'm going to try to show you, there's an apple, and it's like a heart. There's an apple, bits of tomato, and some, some regular seasonings, parsley, pepper, salt, coarse salt. Um, and a few other things, and I wish that I had, um, garlic for this, but I don't have any garlic. And it's just going to be a small, like a small, small batch of ketchup that I wanted to make. I'm kind of doing it backwards. I was supposed to puree it first and then heat it, but I wanted to do it the other way. So, just give me a moment. The blades aren't even in there. Rip had one job where there they are. Why didn't you guys tell me? No, <laughs> I forgot to put the blades in here, so um, I have to move it around now. That's okay. This is fun. I know most people are like, oh my god, it's so scary. You're doing everything live. And even at the beginning of the stream, I mentioned, like, oh god, it's scary, you know, because um. Normally, when you do things live, you know, and if you mess up, well, there it is. It's not like you can edit it out and go back and, like, fix it. You know, you guys know that I messed up. But there's just something human and calming and, what's the word? Maybe, like, it's not all that nerving, you know? It's, it's natural. Maybe that's what it is. Just something that's kind of relieving about it. Okay. With the blades in there, let's give this another go. Oh my god. Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. It's in there, right? Yeah, it's in there, right? Okay. It was just because I accidentally... definitely smells more like I could make soup out of this. Oh my god, all my dogs are so lazy. Let me go on and get something I can scoop this out into. And let me go on and get this water running. So that way the puree will have another chance at uh, thawing out. Okay. And again, for the most part, as you guys can see, but there's still like rock hard part in the middle so it still needs some time. So I want to put this in here and I'll get a small like a little jam jar like this and go out and scoop out any residue. It was gonna be ketchup. That's what I said like over and over again. I'm like yeah I'm making ketchup. I'm totally making ketchup. Now it's more like 
I don't know. It's not ketchup. I don't think I had enough tomatoes. But I just wanted to do something really quick because, again, the tomatoes were going to, like, start going bad if I didn't. And I kind of wanted to add some habaneros, but I've been using the habaneros a lot in my recipes. So I thought, why not just do something with it by itself? Let me go on. Let me get this out. This just needs a quick little mix. Look at that. Beautiful. So beautiful. It almost looks like strawberries, but they're not. You know, I should have done that too. I could have made some strawberry jam. So many things to make, so little time. And I, I would do things like this all day if I had the time. But I have a, like, I had today off from work, which most people are happy about. And I'm happy about it too. I just wish I could have gotten an additional day off of work because Thursday is my normal day off of work anyway. So it's not any different for me. But I'm not going to complain because it's a day off. <laughs> it's a day off. Okay. You know, I wonder if that's how it is on like TV shows like Rachel and other shows, you know, Rachel Ray and all those and the Pioneer Woman. Whenever they cook things, do like they hire people to wash the dishes? after they like dirty them up i'm pretty sure they wouldn't have to do their own dishes right so i'm just gonna go ahead and taste this because you know nom like nom i made a soup i mean it's like ketchup and i can definitely taste those pepper flakes mm. and that onion too this would have been perfect with some garlic but yeah, it's pretty much a thick soup. Okay. So, from here, what we can do, again, I have the hot water running. So that way our puree um, will get a little bit thin. A little, well, not thin. Well, it will thaw. What I'm going to go on ahead and do is I'm going to put um, my peppers and stuff. Because I have my peppers in my big bowl. I'm going to need that big bowl so I can start making the dough. Um, for the pie so and we're gonna be making two pie crusts I could actually maybe just use this one it'll just be a little bit weird and I have to make sure that this is nice and clean when I have to roll out the dough okay and why not actually I'll wait for after I'll wait until after we um make the pie crust and everything for us to try our third wine. So I'm turning back on my laptop and while I'm waiting for that to boot up, I know for sure that they wanted um, my, little, my little measuring things. I know for sure that they wanted a cup and a fourth of um, flour. So go on get my flour. Hope this doesn't go everywhere because I know it's going to go like, like poof, everywhere. Move this. I'm going to have like a billion dishes to watch at, wash after this and it's just going to, ah, so many dishes, so many dishes. I wish I could hire somebody, probably hire Matt after he gets done off work. Hire him, be like, Matt, will you wash my dishes? Please, I love you, I will love you forever. I, I do love you, but I'll love you more if you wash them. Oh, excuse me. That was the wine, like all the wine. Okay, it was, oh God, that's a lot. Two and a half cups. You want, oh, excuse me. What's two and a half cups of uh, flour? Oh God, I I'm gonna have to make one at a time then, which I guess it's not all that bad. So two and a half cups. So it's oh my God! I think that's more than enough. I'm just gonna do my little scrape of shame 
and put like some of that back. Let's put more. And then I'll just use what's literally here on the counter. That sucks. You guys can't even see it. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm actually, let me take this. This is my bowl of fruit and potatoes and everything else. And I'm going to pour it all in this bowl. And I know I'm going to need flour later on because I'm going to have to like, what's it called? Knead the dough. So it's not all that bad. I did this on purpose so I wouldn't have to do this later. But... I'm gonna go on ahead and grab some of this. And I wiped it so it's clean. Go on ahead and actually take some of this. And I guess I can, ugh. This is what I would normally do. I'm not putting up any like, sh what's it called, charade or anything. This is normally what I would do and I'm not, I'm not sucking at cooking. I don't suck at cooking. I'm just like super awesome at it. Okay, a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna need like two teaspoons and I'm gonna use coarse, no, I'll use regular salt. So two teaspoons of salt. That's probably a little bit more than a teaspoon or two. What else, what else? Um, two tablespoons of sugar. Um, however, I am only going to use two tablespoons because I don't want to use that much sugar in my recipe. Pretty sure that was a, more than enough, but you know, I eye mostly everything. When I cook, I eye mostly everything and it drives Matthew insane. Okay. Um, butter. Oh, that's right. The butter. I was supposed to take the butter out. How much do I need? three-fourths of a cup. So how many tablespoons? Let me see. Eight tablespoons. So I need six. What? I'm going to need like freaking six tablespoons of butter. I am not using six tablespoons of butter. I will use like three or four. Which I already put two in there. Oops. So I will use like this much because I want a relatively healthy, if at all possible, that's all I'm willing to use. That's probably like half. That's all I'm willing to use. Vegetable shortening, which I don't think I have any, so I'm gonna just have to use oil. And again, I wanted this to be like a relatively like healthy, so I'm only gonna use like a little bit of regular oil, like that much. And ice water. actually get. You want six to eight tablespoons of ice water. So I'll give it a minute. And I will mix up everything else together while we wait for this ice water to literally become ice water. Go on and mix up everything else so yeah that flop happened but you know it's okay things happen life happens but you know again I'm gonna have to knead on the table anyway or on the counter anyway so it's not like it's not a big deal just 
keep doing what I'm doing. Keep pushing on. Alrighty. So I'll probably keep streaming until after I make the pies and get them in the oven. And then tomorrow, you guys can look for the vlog video and I'll show you how they turned out. Because I'm pretty sure you, I don't know what I would stream for like another like hour or so while you guys wait for the pies to be done. Which I should probably be preheating my, well I'll preheat my oven when I start to knead the dough. Because they always tell you like preheat your oven and wait like five minutes, but I'm not going to be done with this in like five minutes. So, let's pour in. So yeah, I'll be making two pies with this. That's why I doubled the recipe. I will be making apple pie, um, and I will also be making um, pumpkin pie, which the pumpkin pie is mainly for Matthew because pumpkin pie is his favorite. And while I think I could get more than one pie out with um, how much um, filling I have, I think I'm just going to make one pie. I'll just make one pie and call it good. So this dough is actually starting to come together for the most part. I'm going to throw this bit away. It's nice and soft. Let me get a little bit more water in here. And I can probably actually get to the point where I can start using my hand. Because this fork, it's not getting too clumpy, but it's getting to the point where I'm going to start needing to knead the dough and stuff. You know, you guys feel me? You picking up what I'm putting down? I hope so. Alright, I'll go ahead and throw out the rest of that. Let's get this dough. Okay, there's still a little bit of flour in here, but that's okay. Once I knead the dough a little bit, then I can put it back in the bowl and get some of the leftover flour. But it is nice and soft. So we're going to go on and do this a couple times just to kind of help it stay together. And then of course, I know, stay together and I'm going to pull it apart um, into two separate balls of dough. Whoop. Oh my god, this part does not want to stay in. That's okay though. Probably actually needs a little bit more water to help it stick. Okay. It's actually getting a little bit more revealed to the sticky parts, which is good. This will be two beautiful pies, and I haven't really thought if I wanted to, like, you know, decorate them or anything. You know, if I wanted to put any special decorations or any type of design around the crust or anything, I haven't really thought about it. Maybe I could, um, but I'd have to see how much leftover dough I would have.
after their food. They're all asleep. That's so adorable. <sighs> all right. So I'll go ahead and try to form this. And then I'll actually tuck it. I believe I should probably tuck it in a bowl with a nice damp cloth. Usually you do that to let it rise. I don't know. Maybe I could just go on ahead and roll it out. It's nice and spongy and kind of springy. So maybe that would be the time to roll it out. Um, I don't know what my rolling pin is. So I think what I'm going to go on ahead and do, let me go on and, I guess I could just rip it. I know some people are like, what are you doing? That's like the worst thing you could do. That's okay. Let me go on. And this will be one. Ugh. And then I'll go on and get a bottle out of here. Uh, this one. I think this one will work. It's just it's kind of weird because it's like square. Sorry, Crystal. I woke her up. Oh, that's not good. This bottle has stuff coming off. I'll just have to be mindful. Oh yeah, that's that's spread, spreading heck of good guys. This might even make more than more than what I thought. This is gonna be a thick crust. Okay. So like any time that you can't find a rolling pin, go on ahead and you can use any bottle like I'm using here. I'm just trying, trying to be careful because it does have a label on it and I would, that would suck if any of the label got, you know, stuck on the pie. And of course it's not coming out like a circle, but I can go on ahead and just cut it, trim it, do whatever I need to do to make it more even. It's coming along and I know some of these they say also that it's good if you like base them with butter and stuff like that but I think I'm just gonna go on ahead and just leave it as is all right so yeah this is gonna be a pretty big crust so I'm going to go on ahead and just flatten it out a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm going to fold it. I'm going to lightly fold it like this so that way I can get my pie plate. <sighs> All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about cutting out unexpectedly there. Um. All right then. Well, on the plus side out of everything, I only had like two more dishes left to wash and everything. I was able to wash the rest of them, so I have them drying over here behind me. All right then. So to continue off with the pie crust, as you guys can see here, I actually have it laying here. Um, let me go on ahead. Now I was smoothing it, pressing it out with my fingers so that way, you know, it wouldn't be too thick of a crust. And again, we're actually going to have a lot left over. So if I wanted to, I could either use this in the next one or 
um, I could use this for decoration. But I'm going to go on ahead. And most people, they probably take scissors or something and like cut this off. And I'm just going to go on ahead and rip it off. Like a band-aid, rip it off. And I don't know. Like the rip part could be symbolic of something, you know? Could be like the leaves of the pumpkin. You know, because this one's going to be for the, the pumpkin pie. But yeah, I'm sorry I cut out. I'm streaming on my phone, and my phone never gave me any indication of a, of a low battery. So, like, and I was just thinking about them, too. Like, man, I've been streaming for a while, and, and then all of a sudden it cut out. I'm going to go on ahead and take a piece here to use as a band-aid, because there is a part here that's a little torn. Okay. So this pie, this pie crust is red, and I know mostly for pumpkin pie people like to use like the crumbled crust and everything, but I wanted to go on ahead and use this. Also because I don't have any cookies or anything to use, and I, I mean I could potentially have ground it up like um, dark chocolate, dark chocolate cookies and use that. Um, but I don't think I have enough to make both pie crusts. Like, either way, I'd either have to make one or buy one. So there we have our first pie crust. And this almost looks like it could make a pie crust for the second one on its own. Just because it looks like there might be enough. I probably could have honestly stretched that out a little bit more. But let's go on ahead... And I think we'll go on ahead and just use the second one, and then this one and whatever is left from the second one, we can go on and make a third pie. So I'm going to go on ahead and put this over here behind me. And I'll put this over here, and that there. Some things that my teacher in pottery ceramics taught me about clay, because dough and clay are similar. Okay. And I have to be weary of that label again. one's going a lot better, probably because I actually let it sit. Well, not let it sit. I had no choice because, you know, the stream cut out, so. And we'll do this side now. Yeah, this, this pie crust is going to be, I think, better than the other one. So maybe I will go on and use this one for the pumpkin and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I have two pumpkins, so I could go on and use this one for both for the second one. And then, um, well, we'll see. Let's go on and get this in the tray and see how much excess we will have. So we'll have enough for three, which is great, because I said anyway that the pumpkin puree could probably make um, two pies anyway. So I'm going to go on ahead, and who knows, maybe if I flatten out the um, flatten out the dough a little bit more, maybe I can even bake a design on it if I wanted. on and pinch it a little bit more upward to try to stretch it out a little bit. The middle's pretty stretched, but I want to make sure that, see all this little bit of excess we have here? There we go. Almost. 
almost round, and then I'll be able to pinch off a little bit more too. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving, by the way. Hope you guys are eating enough. Eat enough for me, okay? Eat enough food extra for me. That's not asking a whole lot. You guys are going to probably eat a lot anyway, so. But eat enough for me. For a whole other, like, person. Alright, so I have this whole other pie crust that I can even just keep edging out a little bit more. Okay. Whole other pie crust. I'm going to go on ahead and set this one over here too because we have enough to make at least one more pie. So I'm going to go on ahead and mash these two together. They're all Mash these two together. Alright. Yep. And then we'll roll this one out. like this dough. Other doughs that I've made, they haven't really come out this good. Even with the little flop, like literal flop that we had at the beginning of this. This dough's come out pretty good. What's your guys' favorite pie, by the way? My favorite pie is sweet, sweet potato. I believe that sweet potato dominates all other pies. But what are your, what are your guys' favorite pies? Sweet potato not only is healthy, but it's well, okay, it's good for you. It's healthy. That's why I like it. That and sweet. I like a lot of things that are sweet. But not too sweet, because they hurt my teeth. Because I have a few cavities, so... I can't eat anything that's too sweet. But sweet potato has a nice balance. And people would argue that sweet potato and pumpkin pie are one and the same. And they're kind of, but not really. They're kind of the same. And for the lack of arguing, I could be like, yeah, they're the same. But if a label says pumpkin and a label says sweet potato, I'm always going to choose sweet potato. All right. So I'm going ahead and transfer this over. And this one's going to be a bit more difficult, but we have a lot of excess on this side. Go on and rip all of this off. If I had a mini pie pan, I could probably make one, but this excess I could probably just freeze and make another pie another time. Because I don't have enough. Um, right now to make another pie. Well, you know what? Could be better. A little hotter. That'll do it. But I just can't get any more heat. Huh? Lava. Nothing worse than a so so simmer. Oh, do we gotta get these guys in? Yeah. Come on and rip. Take that off. Yeah, that's like a weird spin thing. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Turn that off. Aren't you guys participating in Black Friday right now? For some of you guys, it might be a little too late for Black Friday. If you're on the East Coast, 
It'd already be 8 o'clock by now. Yeah. I kind of wanted to participate in it, but I don't have the money or the time to do so. Otherwise, I'd probably be out there trying to snag me like a Nintendo... A Nint I was going to say a Nintendo 64. Wow. Where am I? Um, I, was gonna, I was thinking... I, what I was going to say, what I had the intention of saying before I said Nintendo 64 was a, a Wii U of some sort. Or not a Wii U, maybe the Switch. I don't know. The Wii U I've heard is okay. Not the greatest, but it's okay. But compared to the Switch, like, no competition at all. I was always, like, a PlayStation person myself. And then I converted over to PC. And PC, Steam right now, they're having the Steam sales, which is freaking amazing, so, I don't know. So yeah, I have a little bit of crust left, so if I honestly wanted to, I could probably use it to decorate, or at least put a crust on one of them. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm probably going to bag this. And we'll go on and start stuffing with the pumpkin to give our um, pumpkin a little bit more time. Okay. You guys are going to think I'm so... Well, I'm the only one who's going to eat this pie. So, it's whatever. Go on ahead... Plenty of apple. And I know it's not as watery as most people are used to, but if you haven't seen earlier in the stream, this is the apple that we actually took and we strained it to make apple juice, which is why it's not as strained, or it's not as juicy as you may be normal, normal to seeing apples. So I'm going to go on ahead and make a layer, and I'm not following a recipe for this, I'm just winging it. I'll probably have to cut off another one and put it here and attach it, because it actually shrunk a little bit before I could do anything about it. So we'll go on ahead and do this, put a little bit more. And I could probably bag the rest of it. <laughs> and then grab honey. Grab some honey. And I'm going to drizzle it. Go on ahead and just make it extra, kind of like a, kind of like a car caramel. It'd be like caramel, but it's not caramel; it's honey. All right. So the rest of this, I'm gonna go on ahead, and I still have quite a lot left. I'm gonna go ahead and bag and put in the freezer. But for the pie, I'm going to take this dough out, probably roll like half of it, a little bit less than half. I'm going to roll it so that way we can cut it into strips to make a topping for pie. Because I forgot, apple pie, you usually put a, you got to have a topping for it. You got to have some sort of decorations or something with it because it's apple pie who doesn't put a topping with apple pie
maybe I'll just do like lines across the pat, pat, like the top or anything. Or... Go ahead, get a knife. I'll get a regular, really like, butter knife. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not actually cutting on the tile. That's why I grabbed the butter knife so I could make the indent, but then pull it apart myself. And I'm just cutting like strips. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. This just to make it look a little neater. You know, before I rip it off. Okay. And should I do it to the other side? It's like this so far. Probably look weird if I just left it like that, huh? I don't think I'll be able to do it all the way across, though, with the little dough that I have left. And by that, I mean I don't think I'll be able to, like, maybe. Like that much. Don't ask me why I did a checkered pattern, but if you must know, it's usually the easiest pattern you can do. And then, one more. Or maybe two more. Make it look kind of symmetrical, even though it doesn't, because I obviously we use more lines. For the other way. Take this, because of course this part doesn't stick. And there we go for our pie. This is the apple pie. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to stick this in the oven. All right. And then we have these two that we're going to do the pumpkin. And I don't think we're going to do a design for these two. So I'm going ahead and set this dough aside. And that way it can, um, we're going to let it do its own thing. All right, I'm get the dish towel. That way I can dry this. Yeah. 
I'm going to pour it as best as we can into um, the pie trays. Oh, I'm so scared. Ugh. I'm scared for the first initial pour. Okay, here we go. Good so far. like that much. Oh, there's still a nice chunk in there. That's okay. We'll get we'll get the liquid and we can make another pie next time. So again, if you guys didn't see my video, which you guys should totally go back and look, um, my vlog video from the other day, I actually, I think it was like last Tuesday or something, I actually took a whole pumpkin and pureed it. Well, I took a whole pumpkin, scooped out all the guts, pureed it, and then we got this bag. And I filled up two pumpkin trays, and as you guys can see, or two pumpkin trays, two pie trays, as you guys can still see, I have like half, which means I could make five pies. I know you're thinking like half. Well, I have a little bit, a little bit more than a half. So potentially five pies. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the honey again. I'm actually going to swirl because it's, I don't remember putting any sugar. I know I use condensed milk, but I don't remember putting any sugar. So I'm going ahead and drizzle some honey and then put some sugar and maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Get some cinnamon. I know that looks like a lot, but I'm gonna mix it. Let me go get the sugar. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. Oh, <laughs> they came over to me because I accidentally, I didn't like hit them or anything, but like the door opened to the closet. So they're like, huh, oh, what's going on? Take it. And just mix it a little bit. It gives it a nice looking design too. Which I know some of you guys might be a little bit worried because you're like, oh, the cinnamon's all on top. Well, hopefully, you know, once it starts cooking, hopefully it sinks more. But if not, that's okay. People know where the danger zones are. So let's go on ahead. Voila. Oh, you guys can't see it. Okay. I'll show you guys in a sec. Hang on. Let me go on and mix this other pie. I'm just gonna be careful. You theorize what this stuff is. Stomach acid, which is abysmal for them to dip in. But it's like volatile, that's why I'm thinking. It's like some type of weird stomach thing. It's volatile. It's volatile. What's a pink rock? Like rose quartz? This no. is uh, the, this, the one that comes from abysmal is like pink. Alrighty. Now this one I tried to see I if I can make most of the cinnamon and whatnot in it. But I think it looks pretty. I'll go on and bring the camera over here so you guys can see it. Doesn't that look pretty? I think it looks pretty. So I'm gonna go on ahead and put these in the oven and I think we're gonna call that for the stream. Um, we pretty much covered everything on the list. I mean, I made somewhat of a ketchup puree. 
Um, we made the we made the pies, the apple, and that we also made the apple juice, the like five to six cups of apple juice. Um, and we made food for the dogs. So I need to clean up because my mom, if she knew how this kitchen looked. Oh, let's try the last wine before we go. Wonderful co wine, and it's a white wine. Now, as long as it's not Chardonnay. I think I'll be okay. Oh, this one twists off. We're to a good start so far. Here's my glass. All right, you guys. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this stream, please leave a like down below. Comment down what was your favorite part and what maybe I could try cooking next time for my Thanksgiving. I didn't like any of them. Never again. Crazy puzzle. Bye.